Good morning, everybody. Thank you guys for joining us once again. Uh, I do encourage you guys to please keep on helping us share this and spread this a lot, a lot, a lot more. Um, Facebook and everything, uh, Facebook link is down below in the description or um, YouTube, whatever you can, you know, to keep on spreading this gospel. And uh, so let's jump right into today's Jeremiah 18. We're going to read verses 3 to 6, so four verses. And he says, Then I went to, down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work in the wheels. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again another vessel, as seemed good to the potter to make it. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, cannot I do with you as this potter? Saith the Lord, Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand. O house of Israel. Well, you know, guys, this is a beautiful picture of the relationship between God and humanity. You know, we we are his creation. You know, just like the clay is the creation, ultimately the the the, the finished work of the clay once is the potter's creation. You know, we are the creation of God. You know, just like just like Adam was formed out of the dust and then he was molded with water, you know. So indeed, we we are clay. That's that's really what we are. You know, mud and water put together, and and you know that that's that's what we are in the hands of God. Just pure clay, and just like the Potter has full control of the clay, he has the power to design it in whatever way he wants to. You know, whatever he wants to do with that clay, he wants to make it a cup, a uh, a plate, whatever he wants to do with that. He has the power. He has the control. He he has it in his hand. He has full control of it. The clay has no say so on what he wants, on what he on what he wants to be. It's, the potter knows what to do with that. You know, he knows he knows best. He knows better than the clay knows. You know, and and just like just just like one thing to remember is that, is that the potter does not start to mold the clay unless he already knows what he will be making out of it. And that's really really important. You know, just. Let me say it again. One, you know, one thing to remember is that the potter does not start to mold the clay unless he already knows what he will be making out of it. You know, just just put that into perspective with God and us being the clay. God doesn't start our lives. God doesn't start our ministries. God doesn't start our future without Him already knowing what's gonna be the ending of it. You know, what he, what is gonna be the outcome of things. He already knows ahead. You know, he already knows everything. The Bible says he knows the end from the beginning. You know, he knows what's going to happen at the end before he even starts the beginning. He's just it's something to remember. You know, he knows exactly where you're at and what you're going through today. You know, just as the potter has the ability to create, he also has the ability to destroy it. You know, the potter could easily, easily destroy that clay. You know, he has to be very cautious with it. But he has both abilities to create or to destroy you know, let's not forget also the process of creating a clay vessel. You know, the clay is placed on top of a table, which the potter makes spin as it is needed in order for the clay to take its shape as it should be. You know, the, the, you know he can make it go really fast or he can make it go a little slower depending on what he needs to do with that clay to mold it and to form it. He knows what to do. He's, he's fully in control of it, you know, and, and that process requires a lot of skill. If you've never seen how a potter does uh, clay work, you should Google it or YouTube it. It's really, really awesome, really interesting. You know, and, you know, but the potter, you know, the potter, in order to transform a delicate piece of mud into a useful, in, in a, a useful, a perfect vessel, it, it takes a lot, a lot of care, a lot of skill. But just like the clay, you know, again, so are we. God being the potter and us being the clay. And, you know, sometimes life feels like that spinning table, you know, and sometimes life feels just like that, that clay on top of the spinning table, you know, the clay is probably getting dizzy, it's getting frustrated, you know, and, and, and the clay has no control over that, that, that table that is just spinning out of control, you know, and sometimes life feels just like that, at least it has to me, I've been there before, I, 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 I can relate to this a, a, a lot, you know, and you know, at the moment, we just have to rely, you know, the, the, the clay has to rely on the potter's hand to know that, that he's in control of it. And so are we. We need to rely on the hands of God and to know that he cares for us and that he's trying to make something out of us. You know, he's trying to make us something useful for 
ultimately for his glory you know and and guys i really I, I really enjoy this one and i hope you guys do too i hope you guys got something out of today's uh and again please keep on helping us share this uh, you know whatever you can and, and spread the word amen and i uh, will see you guys tomorrow hopefully for another one god willing all right guys see you guys later <laughs>